Hey guys, welcome back to another Destiny 2 video, and today I'm just going to do a quick introduction to the video and kind of go over what this video is about and then just let the rest of it play out. Uh, this is a quick guide on how to navigate the aqueducts or the underbelly of the Leviathan a little better, the optimal routes just to get from encounter to encounter. Uh, this route is optimized just because this is a lot easier than going through every encounter over and over and over again with the stash where you guys got to stay and defend and get the stash from the different doors. Now, it takes a a little bit of the same amount of time just to go through that or just go from the underbelly uh, but once you guys get the underbelly completely memorized it's actually going to lessen the time so if you guys want something to make hard mode a little easier so you guys don't have to go through the first couple of encounters uh, the same thing over and over and over you guys can get this down and then from there you guys can get a good fire team to just go from encounter to encounter and just focus on the harder parts of the hard raid or the normal raid if you guys don't want to deal with the monotonous stuff uh, so just like I don't want to and the rest of the teams that I normally play with nowadays three weeks in we don't want to keep doing the same thing over and over so real quick this guy is just showcasing some of the routes uh, for this week's rotation or I guess last week's it started off as the you know the rotation switch and then you go from the one door to another start out with war beast forest and then we go to the royal pools or the bass and then it's going to gauntlet and then to callus now every week this changes up so the routes are going to change every week uh but the gist of it is the same where you guys go from the the main encounter to a little shortcut and then down to the aqueducts now starting out there are a couple things like in the bass there are a couple levers that will allow you to enter into the aqueducts but we're going right from the beginning so you guys don't really need to know that and from there and from gauntlet there are four levers that you can pull to get into the aqueducts uh, but if you guys are starting out into the aqueducts like we did um, then you guys should have no issue um, with having to pull those those things will already be open once you guys come out into that encounter so again this is just a quick route and uh, assessment of the aqueducts I feel like it's a, it's a pretty good shortcut you guys should be using almost every raid encounter uh, even if not everyone on your team knows it you don't need to have everyone know every part of the puzzle um, you can have one guy lead them and just have everyone else kind of follow behind or you can pull them through to the next encounter once you guys get to it and it'll just have everyone join allies so that's basically it for this video Thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Please like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to, if you guys enjoyed the content, uh, just let me know that you guys are enjoying the Destiny 2 videos and that I should keep doing them. And I'll be back next week with some hard mode raid content and uh, maybe some guys in the changes. So see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. -bye.
んだ。